Flawed code is the most powerful AI coding tool ever made. But what if I told you you're using it all wrong? In this video, I'm gonna show you five hidden features that if you start using right now, you'll 10X your coding speed overnight. Let's get into it. The first hidden feature I'm gonna show you is a slash command that made my workflow so much easier. For those that don't know, a slash command in Claude code is a quick command you can give with a slash that automatically runs some sort of process. The one we're about to build will automatically update all our documentation in the app. Having up-to-date documentation in Claude code makes your AI agent so much more powerful because it has full context every time it works. So it is critical that you constantly have your documentation up-to-date. The issue is it takes a lot of time to do, but with this slash command I'm about to show you, it makes it so much easier. So I want you to open up Claude code inside cursor and put this prompt in. This will build the slash command for you. Build me a slash command in Claude code that automatically updates all my readme's documentation and Claude.md files every time a successful change happens. We're gonna hit enter on that and what's gonna happen now is Claude will actually build out the slash command for us, save it to our directory and now all we'll need to do is do slash update docs every time we make a change and it'll update all our documentation for us. All right, so Claude built out the slash command for us. So now all I need to do is do slash update docs, hit enter on that and it's going to use our new slash command that we just built to update all our documentation. So as you can see, it's in my stock portfolio app I built. It's going through and it's creating documentation on every single component built. And the advantage here is next time I put in a prompt to change something in the app, the AI agent will have all the documentation to pour through so it knows exactly how to work on the app. This is going to make it so the coding the AI agent does is 10 times more accurate. It we get way better results. All right, looks like the slash command finished. Let's check out what it did here. Here's the new readme file it automatically generated. It updated the readme with every single feature, every single technology, how it runs, so that next time we build anything out or maybe we even go to a new AI agent, it will have full context on how our app works. The results you're gonna start getting just by this one prompt I gave you is going to make your app so much better and, and building with Claude code so much nicer. So that one feature is gonna speed up your coding, and increase the quality of your app, but wait till you see this next one, it's even better. The next hidden feature I'm gonna talk about just released a couple days ago, and that is Claude code sub agents. What sub agents allow you to do is instead of coding with one agent in Claude code, which can take a tremendous amount of time, you now can create sub agents that can handle multiple tasks at once that will speed up your entire coding workflow. You can have sub agents for UI design, sub agents for creating content, sub agents for managing your database. There are so many options, but I figured out the best way ever to create sub agents inside of Claude code. So down below is a link to the documentations for Claude Claude code sub agents, what you wanna do is this. You wanna copy the entire page of that documentation. Once you've copied the page, we're gonna go back into Claude code, and then you're gonna to wanna to put in this prompt, which it'll be down below. I link all the prompts down below and all the links you need. There is a new feature in Claude code called sub agents. The documentation is pasted in down below. Please go through it and determine what would be the best sub agents you can create for my app that would increase the quality of the app and speed up coding time then implement the new sub agents, documentation, and then paste in the documentation we just copied over and hit enter. Now Claude Code's gonna go in, determine what are the best sub agents for your app that will speed up your coding, and then create them for you. Instead of you having to do all the decision making around which sub agents you should create and Googling a hundred different things, you just give it to Claude Code and Claude Code will determine the best sub agents customized for your app. Then when you give Claude Code any prompts after this, it will auto automatically spin up the best sub agents for you to speed up your coding time. All right, looks like it completed the agents. Let's see what it built. So again, as a reminder, this is a stock tracking portfolio app I built. So it looks like it built me five different sub agents it can spin up at any time. A UI designer that will be totally in charge of designing the UI and making sure it looks beautiful. Build responsive mobile first components, implement interactive data visualizations. I love that. It has a portfolio optimizer that will actually optimize everything in my portfolio.
portfolio to make sure um, investing in the right stocks. I like that. A dividend analyst that will analyze all my dividends as I'm building out different parts of my application. A data importer that will handle importing all the data into my app. An API integrator. This is a big one because my app uses a ton of APIs. It has an entire agent specifically for APIs. That's amazing. That's the power of using sub agents and having Claude code determine which sub agents to build. It will make sure it builds the best sub agents for your app that you might not have even thought of. Again, this is another feature that will make it so you code so much faster and get way better results from your agents. So that feature is gonna have a tremendous impact on how you code, but this next one's also gonna have a massive one as well. Not many people know about Claude Code hooks, but they are a massively helpful feature inside Claude Code. The way Claude Code hooks work is hooks are called anytime you take an action in your app. So you can set up hooks anytime you make any code changes, anytime you commit code, anything you can think of, you can set up hooks that automatically take actions inside Claude Code. We are going to set up a hook now that will commit your code to GitHub anytime you make a successful change in your code without errors. And this hook is so helpful because this is the way you can have checkpoints inside of Claude Code. One of the best parts about Cursor is you can automatically rewind anytime the Cursor agent messes up. That doesn't exist in Claude Code, but setting up this hook basically recreates that functionality so that anytime you want to rewind, you can. By having the Claude Code hook automatically commit to GitHub every time you make a code change, you can at any time rewind your Git so that your code goes back to a working state. This is so helpful to do. So here's the prompt you want to use. I'll put this down below as well. Feel free to pause anytime time and just copy paste this and get this done with me. I want to set up a Claude code hook that automatically commits the code to GitHub anytime we make a successful code change without errors. Please set up this Claude code hook. I'm going to hit enter on that. Claude code is going to set up the hook for us. That's the most beautiful part about using Claude code is you don't need to set anything up yourself. You just have the AI agent do it for you. So it's going to set up the hook for us now. Now it's actually going into the Anthropic documentation so we can understand hooks better. I'm going to hit enter on that. And now it's going to go and set that hook up for us. It will automatically commit our code every time we make a change. So that it's so much easier to rewind if we ever make an error. All right, looks like it's done. It triggers after every successful write, edit, or multi-edit. So anytime the AI agent makes changes to the code, it will automatically commit our code to GitHub. So if we mess anything up or we make a mistake, we can easily easily rewind by rewinding to a past GitHub commit. This is going to make coding with Claude code so much easier. And we did it again, just with one single prompt. The next hidden feature I want to talk about is the different think modes. For those who don't know, there are several different think modes in Claude code that will make it work extra hard and give you better code if you use them correctly. For instance, you can tell Claude code to think think hard and ultra think. If you tell Claude Code just to think, it will give you pretty good results. But if you tell Claude Code to ultra think, it will give you amazing results. So if you use this strategically and you use ultra think for your extra complex tasks, you give yourself a better chance of one-shotting your code and getting way better results on your first try. Let me give you an example. So I'm gonna have Claude Code build me an ultra stylized first person shooter using 3JS in a single file. This will just show us kind of baseline the way Claude Code works on just normal think mode. I'm gonna hit enter on that. It's gonna build me a 3D first person shooter. We'll see what this looks like on just normal think mode. And then right after I'll show you what ultra think looks like to see how much better it performs. All right, so it finished building on the regular think mode. Let's check this out. Pretty good app, right? The enemies are these orange balls going around in this purple. I, I, I like it. It's solid. I mean, it's kind of plain, right? It's got the purple pillars and pink balls. It's fine. There's not much to it. The bullets are kind of cool, but let's see what this looks like now on ultra think mode. So I'm using the exact same prompt, except this time I'm going to tell it to ultra think. So I'm going to hit enter on this and we're going to see what kind of result it comes up with this time using ultra think mode, which makes it work even harder on our complex problems. And again, all you need to do to use ultra think mode is just tell Claude code ultra think inside your prompt and it's going to give you way better results. Now this could take a little bit longer. 
so you don't want to use ultra think with every single prompt you give but on those really strategic and complex tasks you want to give Claude code you want to tell it ultra think so as you can already see here it built out to do list for what it's going to do for this app and there's like way more to do items so it really is taking every step ultra carefully to make sure it gives us really amazing results all right looks like it's done here let's check this out to see what we got as you can see the world looks uh, a, a good <laughs> a good bit cooler you can see there's a lot of different other items inside of the map oh you can see there's like walls too you can see every time i fire there's like sparks that come out of the gun and the enemies instead of just being a ball have these like rotating 3D shapes in them. And when I destroy them, they like explode, which is really cool. You can see there's an ammo counter in the bottom right. You can see there's a score in the top left. There's a lot more colors. There's a lot more stylized effects. This is the advantage of Ultra Thing. It just spends a lot more time giving you a lot better results. Anytime you do something complex in Claude Code, you wanna make sure you tell Claude Code to Ultra Think about it so you get better code and better results. So those last four features are amazing and make your coding a lot better, but this last one I'm going to show you is mandatory. Everyone should do this. This is so easy to implement. And this is having the correct Claude rules. So Claude rules are rules that are sent to the agent every time you run any prompt. It's included in the context every single time. So if you create a Claude.md file, you can put in whatever rules you want that are sent to the agent every time. These are the nine rules I use in my Claude.md file with every single app I build. And this gives me so much better results inside of Claude code. I'm gonna paste these down below, so feel free to pause here, grab them and put them into your own Claude.md file. But just going over them real quick, basically what they cover is making sure Claude thinks in tasks and to-do lists. So every time it does anything, it breaks it down into to-do lists, which makes it so that you get way better results. And it also makes sure that it isn't late. So all fixes need to be validated in the code and all fixes impact as little code as humanly possible so that you don't run into any of those dreaded error rabbit holes where you just make errors worse and worse and worse. These nine rules I have here made my results from Claude code so much better. And just by copying and pasting them into your own Claude.md file, you'll instantly get better results from Claude. So those five secret features have made my results in Claude code so much better and have made my workflow so much faster. Go back, rewind, make sure you copy and paste all the prompts from down below, implement them into your own Claude code today. I promise your results will be unbelievable. If you learned anything at all, leave a like, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications all I do is make incredible videos on building things with AI. Also, I live stream every single Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So check out that as well. And I'll see you in the next video.